In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get your SketchUp model ready in order to be imported into SketchUp layout. Yes, that means you have to create all the elevations, floor plans, and views in SketchUp first. I'll show you guys. And then once we are in SketchUp layout, I'm going to show you how to add dimensions, add notes, change the scale on things, and also add elevation markers, title blocks, the basic functions that you need in order to get yourself started using SketchUp layout. So this is for a real life project. I have to create these construction drawings to give it to the contractors to follow when it comes to installing tile and all the vanities and mirrors and whatnot. To create the elevations, go to the top where it says tool, scroll down and click section plane. Now, depending on the color, it's going to cut a different part of the surface. So the blue is gonna cut the top surface face down and then the green and the red ones are going to cut mostly the walls. I want to create an elevation that faces the vanity and that shower wall and I'm just going to click over here on this wall and just say OK. Select the section tool and move it so it cuts into the wall and you can move it as far as in into the wall as you want but I'm just going to scroll back. To hide the section plane, go at the top where it says view and uncheck section plane. That way it gets rid of it and if you want it to come back, just go back and recheck it, but I don't need it. In order to make this view into 2D mode, I'm going to go up at the top and select the side that this elevation is facing and it's going to get it's going to take a little bit of guesswork on you um, depending on which way your building is facing. So mine is facing the front view. Now I'm going to go back to camera and select parallel perspective. That way it makes it into a 2D view. On the right hand side where it says scenes, click the plus sign and that's going to save the elevation view. So I'm basically just going to do that for all of the views that I need for this bathroom. And if you want to get out of the section cut view, go at the top and uncheck section cuts. That way your SketchUp model goes back to normal. To create the 2D floor plan, it's pretty simple. Just go to the camera tab and select the top view in the parallel perspective. That way you have your 2D floor plan. Now that I got all my elevations done and ready to go, I'm going to open up SketchUp Layout. So SketchUp Layout actually has templates for you to pick from. So over on the right hand side, I'm going to click more templates. And when you scroll down, you can see all the different kinds that they have. But I'm going to click on title block. And when you scroll down, you can see all the different kinds of templates that they have. I am going to pick the simple tabloid landscape option. Once you open up the document, you will see the template that you opened and you can just change the text to whatever it is that you need to, like put the client name, your, your business name, your logo, and more details about the drawing. Now we're gonna insert the SketchUp model into the layout. So we're gonna go to File, Insert, and select the SketchUp file you are working in, click Open, and it may take a little bit for SketchUp to load the model in there. When you import the file into the layout, it does not come in skilled and you need to do that manually. Over on the right hand side, there is a tab called SketchUp Model. Make sure that Auto is checked on and on that little drop down menu next to it, you scroll down and you can pick the scale that you want your drawing to be in. And once your drawing is scaled, you can use those little arrows just to kind of crop the view and hide what you don't want to show. If you want to change the type of scene that you are showing on the page, just click on the viewport, right click and scroll down when it says scenes and select the elevation of your choice. Next, I'm going to show you how to add dimensions. So over at the top toolbar, click the dimension icon. I'm going to dimension this vanity and just drag the dimension over to the side. And you see how it gives me this dimension that no one really uses. I mean, I don't really use that type of scaling dimension. So to change that, go over on the right hand side and where it says dimension style. Under there you can change how precise you want the dimensions to be so I'm just going to click one fourth. To add notes to your drawing, go over to the top toolbar and select the label icon. Click and drag to where you want the text to be and I'm just going to label this shower floor tile. Now I know the shower drain is off-centered or I think it's the shower head that's off-center but just know that I am aware of this and that will be fixed. 
To change the text style, the font size, head over to the right hand side of the screen and where it says text style, you can choose from various text styles, change the font size, you can make it left align, center align, whatever it is that you need. Next up, I'm going to show you how to add those elevation markers and that little title block under the drawing. So over on the right hand side, scroll down to where it says scrapbooks. You're going to click on that drop down menu and select TB Plane. These little icons will show up and then to bring those in, just click and drag it into the drawing. To escape out of the command, just press the space bar. Now to add the elevation markers, go back to the scroll down menu and select sections and elevation and you will see those little icons show up and the same thing, just click and drag it into your drawing. When you want to add another page to your document, you can either click the plus sign to add another page, but the thing is, you're going to have to go to file and insert the SketchUp model again, which let me tell you, it's going to take quite a bit and sometimes SketchUp layout is a little bit glitchy. So what I like to do is duplicate the page. That way I just go into the viewport and change the scene to the elevation of my preference. Now let's say I forgot to add an elevation into my SketchUp layout or I need to change something in the drawings. Just go back to the SketchUp file and make that elevation, make the section cuts of the elevations that you want to bring in, save it as a scene, and then save your SketchUp model. Go back to layout and select the viewport, right click and select update model reference. So any little detail or anything that you changed in your SketchUp is now going to be reflected onto layout. Now, if you happen to rename your SketchUp file to something different, you're going to need to relink the model. So just right click on the viewport and select relink model reference and just choose a SketchUp file that you renamed or deleted or copied or whatever it is. Well, that is it for this SketchUp layout tutorial. I hope you guys liked it and found it informative. I also hope you leave this video feeling a little more comfortable and confident using SketchUp layout. I know that learning a new software can be a little nerve wracking, but I promise you, SketchUp layout is not scary. If you want to see more tutorials in the future and like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. It would really help me out. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to be a part of this fam, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.